Hey, Lawn Care Nation and part-time Lawn Care Channel fans. Coming at you with a, another helpful video. This one's called The Do's, or What You Should Be Doing. Is that a UFO? Uh, we are in the black truck and not the silver one, so things might appear to be different. But at any rate, it's just another studio. <laughs> this is what I have to do to have peace and quiet. Number one, do prepare. Prepare yourself, prepare your uniform, uh, pack your lunch if you need to, make sure you're hydrated and well rested, make sure you have gas, make sure your oil levels are correct, make sure your blades are sharp, you have a uh, trimmer string, you have everything you need to succeed. Prepare by, uh, if you have to communicate, anything to your clients make sure you take care of that and also prepare mentally because uh, you're gonna need that focus next the communication thing do communicate communicate with everybody communicate with your people about where you're going to be or what you're going to be doing communicate with people on the road by using your turn signals <laughs> uh, communicate with your customers if anything pops up uh, if you're going to try to make an appointment to be somewhere, don't make the mistake of saying, okay, I'll be there at 10 a.m. Say, I'll be there between 10 and 12, or I'll be there between 10 a.m. and uh, 2 p.m. So, you know, like UPS or FedEx or anybody will do. Uh, but don't say you're going to be there at 10 because you're not going to be there at 10. It's just it's the facts. Uh, and if you are, then my hat's off to you. <laughs> Okay, another one is do be grateful. Uh, I suggest that you wake up every day and be grateful that you have another day to live and that you've been given the opportunities that you have to uh, venture into a new business. Be grateful to your clients. They may thank you, but you need to in turn thank them as well. Be grateful for everything, just any opportunity that you have, even if it's uh, something that is not that positive it's a learning experience it's something that you can learn from and and uh, grow wiser and and more proficient at what you do be grateful for those opportunities they might seem like a fumble at the time or a small scale disaster but you know it, it makes you who you are it makes you better next up do what you say and say what you do don't tell somebody, especially a paying customer, that you're going to do something and then you don't do it. And, uh, you know, you're only as good as your word and you're only as good as your work. So make sure that your word is bond and that your work ethic is impeccable. Next up, do maintain your equipment. Now, I can't stress this enough. And try and learn from videos when things break how to fix them or preventative maintenance r and m repair and maintenance uh, this is going to save you a lot of money and if you have the resources try to have a backup plan or a plan b for every piece of equipment second trimmer uh second blower second mower things like that backup shirt in case your first one gets oil all over it or you sweat through it things like that always have a backup plan because it's going to save your butt one day. Do save money. Save money for those repairs that, that I just discussed. Save money for taxes. Save money to reinvest in your business. Don't just uh, blow it as soon as you get it. Like, hey, I made two fifty today. And go on a shopping spree. You're going to need that money down the road. You know, spend some of it, yes. Reward yourself, yes. But uh, also you need to be saving some, and that's just a, a a good bit of advice for anything in life. I don't care what you do. You need to save for the future. Next up, respect their turf and tell them that you're respecting their turf. Let it show in everything that you do. And by turf, I mean turf grass. And that's the golden goose is their yard. That's the media that you work on. That's... It's, uh, it's what keeps you in business. Do everything possible that you can to ensure the health of that yard. If it needs fertilization, suggest it. If they're already using fertilization, encourage it. Irrigation, encourage it. Mowing at the proper length, at the proper frequency, 
encourage it. Learn about that as well. You should be mowing at three and a half to four inches. This is fescue. Now, don't you guys way down south, don't jump in my business because you mow it at two inches. I get it. I get it. You have a different type of grass down there. But up here, uh, where we have tall fescue, it needs to be at three and a half to four inches and preferably weekly. You should not be mowing anybody's grass that is 12 inches every time you go there. That puts the turf under a lot of stress, makes a lot of cleanup mess for you to deal with, and it's just going to make you hate life. So if they are bi-weekly, make sure that it's a yard that uh, it's okay to do bi-weekly. Uh, respect that turf. I can't emphasize that enough. Enjoy your downtime. Do enjoy your downtime. Do something fun. Uh, go to a movie, go out to eat, just relax, veg out, watch Netflix, whatever it is that you like to do. Enjoy your downtime. Don't bring your work home. Yes, you're going to watch YouTube. That's enjoyable for you to do it. Um, I wouldn't sit there and just obsess over your business. That's going to burn you out and burn your family or loved ones out in the long run uh, maybe not even such a long run maybe in uh, <laughs> the short run but you know when you're at home be at home when your significant others in front of you focus on them um, just don't go all in mentally on this it's it's going to be there tomorrow and, and you can deal with it when you're at work um, and my tip of the day is you are unique and what I mean by that is no two people are the same. No two situations are the same. I said it before. I'll say it again. No two yards are the same. No, po no two businesses are the same. You are unique. Your finances are unique. Your resources are unique. Your goals are unique. So you need to tailor this advice towards your game plan and, and put it to use that it can benefit you the most. You know, maybe you have... Uh, an extra $20,000 laying around. Um, maybe you don't. Maybe all you have is a, a busted up lawnmower and, and you want to try to get to a higher level. Whatever you have, value it, build on it. But, you know, the, like I said before, there's always room at the top. You got to crawl before you run. So stay positive, keep your chin up. If anyone wants to weigh in and share advice or experiences, by all means, please do it. Like and subscribe, appreciate that, and share if you want. And look forward to talking to you guys again sometime.